Did you know you can make your own hot sauces at home? Eat delicious and lose weight with Chef Pachi. Hot sauces at home? Easy! Hi, this is Chef Pachi and today we're gonna make an ají amarillo paste. This is an amazing sauce and it can also be the primer for many recipes. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna place our whole ají amarillos, which are the Peruvian ajis, in a baking pan. Boil at 400 degrees and 20 minutes later, they are all golden and ready to be peeled. You can cover them for five minutes or leave them in the oven with the oven off. And this will help the skins peel off. So you peel up the skins and remove the peppers. We are gonna wash and boil them three times, even though in the video it's only two times. We add water into a pot and we place our peppers in that water and we wash them as soon as they come out from each boil. So we wash them once we peel them, place them in the water, bring them to a boil, pass them through a sieve, wash them again, place them in the pot and boil them three times. Then we're gonna place them in an immersion blender bowl or in any pot. And we're gonna add the vinegar. We're gonna add our olive oil. And we are gonna add half a teaspoon of salt and a quarter of a teaspoon of pepper. This is it. And check it out, it's beautiful. This is a perfect sauce for people that like super spicy food, but it's also the base for many Peruvian recipes that call for ají amarillo. I kept the skins because some people like the roasted flavor of roasted ají amarillo. So now you have two recipes in one. Place your skins if you want and remove the skins. You have two different sauces in one recipe. These are called rocoto ajis. These ajis are very, very hot. They are extremely hot. So we do the same thing. We place our rocoto ajis in a 400 degree preheated oven for about 20 to 25 minutes. And once they're all brown and golden, we leave them in the oven for 10 minutes or just cover them and set them aside until they're cool enough to handle. Once you can handle them, remove the stem of each of the peppers. When we open each of the ají rocotos, the seeds are all together in a little ball and that makes it easy for you to remove them. You can actually plant them afterwards if you want. We're gonna put them in the immersion blender, all of them together, and that's it. Mix, and you're gonna have a very thick, dark red, and beautiful sauce. Now we're gonna add four tablespoons or a quarter of a cup of olive oil and half a teaspoon of salt, and that's it. You need nothing else. Check it out, it looks beautiful. I'm gonna show you how I mix it. I usually take a tablespoon of the ají rocoto mix and two cups of plain yogurt. Then I just mix it and refrigerate it like this. So here we start with our poblano chilies. We do the exact same thing. Place them on a baking pan, cook them in a preheated 400 degree oven, and bake them about 40, 45 minutes. These ones take a little bit longer because they're a little bit bigger. And then they are completely roasted, beautiful and delicious. Cover them for 10 minutes or until cool enough to handle like that. Once they're cold, peel off the skins of the peppers and remove the seeds. 
it is very important to remove the seeds because they are spicy. Now these poblano peppers are mild. They are a lot milder than the red rocoto peppers we just did. So we peel our peppers, same thing, remove the seeds, look at them, they're beautiful. And now we do the same thing that we did with our ají amarillo yellow peppers. We boil them in water two times, remove the water, and boil them into clean water again and again. That takes off some of the heat. We don't do that with the rocoto peppers because they're small. And since they are small, they fall apart and you would lose a lot of the pepper. Now we're gonna mix all of these peppers with the juice of two limes, which is about two tablespoons of limes, like key limes, green limes. Blend it and you're done. Set it aside. You have this beautiful and amazing poblano paste that you can use to make many sauces. And if you like the heat a lot, you can eat it on its own. Remember, the Shepachi delicious food, amazing food. Enjoy! Delicious diets are sustainable diets. Subscribe and turn on the bell for recipe updates.